six laid off and fighting back. Major developments in a story that affects so many. A lawsuit's been filed on behalf of more than 2,000 EMTs and paramedics abruptly laid off over the weekend. Then on your side, Nina Blanton's been working this story from the beginning. Anita? Well, Tom, private ambulance company First Med could be in hot water for suddenly letting go of their workers without notice for an explanation. If you've never heard of the WARN Act, it's a federal labor law that protects workers requiring businesses to give early warning of closings and mass layoffs. And it's now the basis for this eight-page lawsuit. All it took was one person coming forward to be a class representative, and now First Med EMS LLC is facing a class action lawsuit in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of North Carolina, where the company is based. After two days of going from one closed office to the next around Hampton Roads and attempting to get answers from First Med's corporate execs. Can you at least let us know when they're going to get their last checks? I spoke to the New York attorney, now representing countless jobless EMTs and paramedics. The nature of this shutdown without explanation um, leaves employees in a desperate situation regarding many issues. They've worked in the medical field and now have no clue what to do about their own health care. They've spent their days and nights responding to emergencies and now... These people are in the emergency response business and they uh, understood that um, time is of the essence to try to figure out um, what is happening to them. The lawsuit seeks to recover 60 days wages and benefits for the workers citing the 60 day notice they should have been given as a requirement of the Worker Adjustment and Retraining or WARN Act. It covers all similarly situated former employees in Ohio, North and South Carolina, West Virginia, Kentucky and here in Virginia, terminated without cause on or about December 6th. When a company goes dark suddenly with no um, explanation and uh, does not seem to be responding to the normal requests that employees have uh, for their own welfare, then it is, in my view, a deplorable situation. The suit's in its very early stages, but once First Med receives its summons, the company will have 30 days to respond. And they could also go into mediation, so we'll be watching this very closely. Attorney Raisner says that they've had a steady stream of former First Med employees already contacting them over the last 48 hours. My contact says that it's estimated that around 200 people have signed up to be a part of this suit so far. If you've been affected by this layoff, I'm going to put a link in my web story on wavy.com to the attorneys handling this case. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.